Bangladesh is a country that has half the size of the U.S. in an area that's the size of Iowa. Massive density of population. This makes Bangladesh the eighth most populous country in the world. It also is unfortunately home to the most arsenic contaminated aquifers, where people collect their groundwater for drinking. The problem in Bangladesh is global magnitude. The way I even knew that this problem existed is because I'm Bangladeshi American, so I grew up in the U.S. But every summer, I would actually go back to the homeland, to Bangladesh. Over the many years that I would have my annual trip to Bangladesh, more and more family members that I visited were either getting very sick or were just kind of all of a sudden disappearing. And no one really had any reason to suspect that there was arsenic in the aquifers until there was a massive case of what was then perceived to be leprosy. The World Health Organization then did a study and found that what was happening in Bangladesh was the largest mass poisoning in human history. That really served as the inspiration for me to figure out why the water crisis really persists. That's when I went on this journey of doing a Fulbright where I actually met Dr. Arup Sengupta, the inventor of Drinkwell's technology. There are two units here, you know that, right? Mm -hmm. At that time, his technology was focused on arsenic removal, specific to West Bengal and India. Dr. Sengupta was giving his presentation about the work he's done. We created first a reusable arsenic selective adsorbent. Vinhaj Chowdhury was in the audience. We figured out what is the value chain going to look like when it comes to how we provide safe water to those that need it most. The arsenic has been removed from the water. Drinkwell is a social enterprise that's looking to transform the global water crisis into entrepreneurial opportunity. Here's a little mock-up of our systems that we install. We manufacture resins that remove the arsenic from the groundwater. The water simply flows through this column where we have our specialty material. And we sell those to local entrepreneurs who build a business around providing safe water. If you empower local entrepreneurs, you're creating jobs. And jobs are what creates the legacy signature of sustainability. We are bringing in workforce who have not been exposed to college education, teaching them basic water chemistry, and making them aware of how to function in a laboratory environment. And then the entrepreneur doing what they do best, which is leveraging their social capital in the community to sell safe water, and not having to spend any time on the maintenance of the system, because that's what we do. That's our core skill set. What the operator will do is a simple backwash, we call it, just pumps water from the bottom to the top. Every month, we will visit the site and collect a sample. We'll do routine maintenance, and then we'll charge a standard service fee. VentureWell was critical because they were the first money in while the technology was still being developed at Lehigh University. Had that funding not come in, who knows if this technology could have ever come out of the lab. Every child should be able to drink clean water. We need our young people healthy for their futures. In the next 10 years, we'll have close to 5,000 water entrepreneurs across the world. 10 years time, you have millions of people who are getting impacted by this initiative. And the most important thing is, it's sustainable. 